Don't go out on the road with it yet, though, Benny. It's awesome, a little smoky, but... 1914, man. Yeah. Probably go turn it around or what? Uh, All right, guys, today is the day it has finally arrived that we get to drive our 1914 Princess. My dad finished up the wheels. He made these from scratch. The other ones were rotted out and they needed replacing. And I'm just really impressed at how they turned out and his craftsmanship with the white oak. They look absolutely original. Mounted them to a nice uh, croaker tire of the era. We were going to go with white, but we did the black, and I'm just really happy with the results. All four wheels spin true, and uh, this car actually runs and will drive now. So now that we've got it on some rubber, we can drive it. Um, I actually already drove it a little bit earlier, and i got to say we had it up to about 35, and it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. So um, let's do a little walk around and check out this 1914 Princess for you guys to see. This car was made in Detroit. It's one of three left known in the world. Uh, it was owned by a gentleman named Bernie Pollard, who saved a lot of brass era cars. And during World War II, the government wanted to crush him for the war effort. He ended up going down to Congress, and uh, they allowed him to keep it because he argued that we we're going to lose American history without it. So thanks to him, we have this car here with us today, and not uh, not crushed. Got a nice little trunk. All the wood that it's uh, made with is all solid which is pretty rare for a lot of these old cars that i get this will be rotted out and it's a nightmare to try to figure out in one of three in the world even though it's rather th simple you'll be spending a lot of time on that so body's nice and solid everything was solid but the wheels we have all the bows we actually have a boot cover for this thing in the trunk there all the original mats the interiors are all original too it's just uh, over a hundred years old and the fact that it's here and it's running absolutely incredible so even the wheel like it must have been stored in a pretty good spot because a lot of these will delaminate as they're exposed to moisture and stuff and the fact that it's just doesn't even look really worn so it has a little mask that fill up no battery sits so on runs with a magneto the wiring harness pretty much just consists of two wires for breaking the ground of the magneto to turn it on and off it's got little primer cups in here that you can fill up with fuel when you're hand cranking it. Uh, yeah, pretty sweet. It's got a Holley carburetor on it, made it all brass and bronze. So this thing runs like a top. I'll go ahead and I'll fire it up and take it for a ride. Thank you. 